For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 7 of the Roma Career Mode series here on FIFA 18. We're back to Champions League action to start us off today. After a rather remarkable end to the first game in the Champions League against PSG, where they scored with like 6 minutes to go, then we equalised with 2 minutes to go, and then they still went and won the game in the last minute. Uh, we're looking to pick up our first points in Europe this season. We also have two huge games in Serie A today as well including AC Milan away from home, and then following up with Napoli at the Stadio Olimpico. Massive games, three huge fixes for us today. We're in unbeaten form, but not top form. So we'll hope to still be unbeaten by the end of the episode, and hopefully have picked up a couple of victories, more so than draws, uh, by the end as well. We've been rotating out the side a little bit, and then actually the rotated players that came in in the last game in Sudanese did very well. Uh, but they are slightly unfit, not 100% for this one, but Fred and uh, Defrel were two of the best players in that previous game. But I've gone with Sanabria and Strokeman again for this game here against, uh, oh, against Sevilla. Now, I'm not sure what to expect from them, so uh, we'll just have to dive in and find out what they're all about. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel too, so make sure you don't miss out on any further content. There'll be a My Player episode later on tonight, or Become a Legend, whichever you want to call it. Sevilla away. Sevilla's starting lineup does look very strong. They've got Johannes Geis in there in the midfield. Playing a four, it's more of a 4 5 1, isn't it, than a defensive 4 1 4 1. But still, it's uh, a defensive for, uh, formation while they're at home. But Ben is good enough to run things on his own up top, so we'll have to keep an eye on him. Sevilla were a side, obviously, as we've mentioned previously, uh, that were involved in the vote as to which side would take over as the new team in uh, career mode. You guys voted for Roma and voted against, well not necessarily against Sevilla, but there was about a thousand more votes for Roma. So hopefully I can get a win here and justify your decision. There's Nolito. He's got guys there on the inside. Cheeky little ball rolls gone one way then the other. And he's done me and Yana's guys towards a good save out of Alisson. Positive start from Sevilla here. Apologies if I'm a bit sniffly throughout the episode. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Uh, corner comes in, flicked on at the near post and well held by Alisson. Two Roma players end up on the floor. But the ball is in the goalkeeper's hands, not in the back of the net. Angolan over the top for the onrushing Florenzi. Takes it down very well. Cross it in. And oh, Sergi Rico gets there. Can Angolan win that loose ball? Yes, he can. I'll get it across here to El Sarawi. Strike. Good save by Sergio Rico. Mara's going to get it back on his left foot. Will cross it in. Underneath this, Daniele De Rossi. Sanabria 1 0. He's onside. Strange technique. I was hoping he was going to kind of fall back and do an overhead kick, but in the end, it just. Swivel volleyed it on his left foot, but it went into the back of the net, and that's all that matters. Pressure in a big spell here. You see him just turn on it. I'm totally too sure that's quite realistic with the physics of that. No, not at all. But never mind, the ball's in the back of the net. I don't really care too much. It's Roma 1, Sevilla 0. Getting quite risque with the amount just the two defenders left on the halfway line. Here's Pizarro into Caricho, the centre-back. Shows you how far they're pushing forward. Good save by, oh, Allison, and then the rebound. Allison again underneath it. Oh, how have they not equalised there? How has he not put that follow-up effort away? Smacking it off the underside of the bar, and it stays out. That was outrageous. It really should be 1-1 here, but our lead is still there at present. We may even be able to extend it if Sanabria could have gotten on the end of that pass, but he didn't, unfortunately. Oh, I tried to poke that there for... Strokeman, we will get it to the Dutchman and look for Sanabria. Angolan could run around the outside. Sanabria's in on his own. Sanabria shot blocked. Kier just runs into it and it goes kindly back to Sergio Rico. The way that Sevilla have played in this opening half an hour shows that they are a goal threat and I will need at least two goals to guarantee victory here, I think. Got options around me. We'll give it back there to Daniele De Rossi looking for El Shirawi. Angolan was waiting. Not much space. We are working the ball about really nicely. I'm going to have to turn and look for a pass. And Sanabria for a second. Oh, God, that wasn't far away at all. Try to squeeze it underneath the keeper and look for that far post. And he's oh, just missed. Streetman drilled out to Riyad Mahrez. Really nice ball. He's gotten past one defender. I'm not going to Nangola and poke that through again. And Sanabria makes it two. Really nicely tucked away. That should 
be game. They are capable of scoring, Sevilla, because they've caused me umpteen problems in this game to this point. But just leaving Riyad Mahrez in so much space meant that their whole defence had to shift across. By doing so, it made it easy just to play through ball, through ball, and then a tidy little finish. Antonio Sanabria's second goal of the game. We lead by two goals to nil. Sarabia into Ben Yedda. Backing off him. I don't want to dive in too quickly because he's got the dribbling ability to just take it round me. And you guys know how lacklustre my defending is the majority of the time. De Rossi will go through there though to Kevin Strootman. And there's so much space here for Stefano Sharawi. And surely this has to be 3 0. No! <laughs> of the base of the post. I can't believe that's not gone in. El Sharawi should have finished that. I'm really disappointed in myself for not tucking it away and making it 3 0, giving myself a convincing margin of victory. There are still 20 minutes left for Sevilla to get themselves something out of this game. I'm going to have to be wary that I can keep my clean sheet intact. But if they keep shooting like that, it will do. Here's Lengle. Out wide to Pablo Sarabia rather than Sanabria, who I've got up top. The back heel from Ben Yedda. That is a great one too. And Wissam Ben Yedda scores for Sevilla. Five-star weak foot, of course, for Wissam Ben Yedda, but... That one too was outrageous. The back heel there and then to play it immediately back through the gap. That's a top class goal. That's the sort of quality you expect in the Champions League. Unfortunately for them, we already have a two goal advantage. But that has now obviously been pegged back to one. And I told you earlier on in the game, I felt like I'd need at least two goals to ensure victory. And that, if things stay as is, will be the case. I may even find myself needing a third, but hopefully two will be enough. Mary Rui with the throw. Pellegrini. I've got Daniele De Rossi there in the middle. Only two minutes added on at the end of the game. I'll drop the shoulder and hopefully shake the defender off here. And Sarabia, Sanabria even, sorry, can go for the hat trick, but he's not going to get it. Mignetta out to Lenglet here. And there's the final whistle. Good. Victory in the Champions League. That is exactly what we needed after defeat to Paris Saint Germain. And hopefully, stands us in good stead to now that we've won back to back games after the game against Udinese yesterday. Let's try and get wins against AC Milan and Napoli too. Milan is second in the league at this stage, even though we've only played five or six games, but that is a really attacking formation. Three at the back, and then what? that's just a 3-4-3, three, three, I think, but it looks very, very busy in the final third. But if they've been able to make it work, then they've been able to make it work. Both of us have played six games in the league so far. Both of us are unbeaten, but I've... 1-2 drawn 4, whereas they've 1-4 drawn 2. So we have similar records, but they're the side that are currently second in the league and heading into this one, we're in sixth. So we're not that far away from the European spots now. We just need to get a victory here if we can, and we'll really close the gap on the top three. God, you can understand if they're going to be playing football like that, though, with the quick fire passing, why they've got such a busy final third. They always need an option, but by playing that sort of football and having so many people further forward, it does mean there are going to be gaps at the back. Daniele De Rossi gives us an early 1-0 lead after six minutes at the San Siro. I have a funny feeling their top-heavy formation could really cause them some problems against me in this game. We might actually have quite a good game here against AC Milan, but I don't want to tempt fate. Bonaventura. Stindl to Bonaventura again. Florenzi trying to keep up with him at least. Just to slow him down and put him off. Give the rest of the side a chance to get back into a defensive shape. But lovely ball into Nikola Kalinic. He's backed in. Good cross. Collar off heads away, but only as far as Bilia. It's a good turn from him. Could shoot. Stindl. Oh, that flick. That made the goal. That flick. Beautiful. Suso with a lovely finish, but it was all about that flick. Is it Lars Stindl with it? I'm not sure. No, it's Andre Silva flicks it around the corner. That's gorgeous. Fair play. GG. 1-1. One, one. This has been such a tight game that literally we've split possession 50-50 and we've had a shot each. A goal each, but a shot each, and that's it. This is... The closest game of the season so far. Free kick for Milan in a really dangerous position. Montalivo is going to lay this off, I think. No, he has gone for the shot. Alisson does well to hold on to that. That was really well whipped, but we'll just bowl it out and try and create something of our own on a counter-attack. That's what I was going to say. 
Kalinitz into last Stendhal. May have shot ourselves in the foot there with that poor clearance. Oh, I thought he was going to intercept that, so we just kept running to try and keep the flow of the move going. But no, we've stolen the ball off them, and now we can go on the counter to attack properly. Under, just going to try and drive around the outside, but he's not got the strength to do it, unfortunately. Oh, it's annoying. Still 1-1. One, one. It's Bonaventura, forced wide here. No less with him. It's Kolarov, actually, that was with him. I thought it was Monolas because he was moving quite quickly across the ground, but apparently Kolarov showed a burst of speed there. Sanabria so across here into Pellegrini. We use the left back first. Could get that to Nangolan, actually, who could then help it through to. Oh, fucking hell. Well, Nangolan's done brilliantly. Knock this back. Pellegrini with the effort. Oh, hits Montalivo in the uh, nether regions, shall we say. Nangolan back to Pellegrini, to Nangolan again, look to finesse it from the edge of the box. And if it weren't for a top save from Donnarumma, that would have been 2-1 to Roma. Cross comes in from the corner, Nangolan could have been underneath that, wasn't. Undo will win this header, and oh, I tried to flick that on again. Manolas does well, Nangolan just going to have to try and keep possession, but Montalivo steals it off me. And now they could come away on the counter, but Manolas should have the strength and defensive ability to hold off Andre Silva, and does well, but they're still coming here, AC Milan. And that's a good through ball there to Kalinitz and Stindl. And good. Sanabria. Not wide to Florenzi. Not that back there to De Rossi. And Sanabria is there again. And Golan. We'll hit to Riyad Mahrez. On his left. Mahrez. Well held by Donnarumma. It's been a really, really closely fought game. As we mentioned at half time, with not many goal scoring opportunities at all between either team but when chances like that come along yeah I feel like I've got to take them and by not taking them I open myself up to uh, making defensive mistakes like I normally do and losing games but oh if only that through ball had been able to make it through that sums up the entire game every side or every side there's only two of us both sides have uh, played very good possession football until the final third and then everything just kind of seems to fall apart at present I bring Fred on and actually going to bring De Frel on for oh Mara's is quite low on stamina but I'll bring De Frel on for Sanabria and we'll see if that uh, that double change can actually enforce the difference for us they made a change as well with Hakan Chalunolu coming on for Bonaventura so we need to make sure we don't give him any space 25 30 yards out from goal or give away any free kicks because he definitely can punish us from that sort of range his last Stindl, though, out to Chalanolu, who's been played on the left-hand side of midfield, into the middle. Get up, Alisson. He's punched it clear, and hopefully Florenzi will keep that in, and we won't give away a corner. Oh. On such chances, games are won and lost, and thankfully, we've been able to keep them out there. And Defrel will look to try and maybe make them lose. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Fred in behind the substitute. Donnarumma with a hell of a save with his feet. Two really good opportunities, one at either end of the field, but still no more goals. Chalanolu into Andre Silva. Chalanolu has done me there. Here's Belia. Lovely ball down the line into Kalinitz. Oh, no! Oh. He's just picked him out perfectly. And the keeper has literally stood motionless at the near post. There's nothing he can do about it. You see Andre Silva there on the edge of the six-yard box. He just stops and darts in front of Kolarov. It's just great attacking movement from the striker. And then Alisson literally just stands there and watches it. AC Milan 2, Roma 1. That might be the goal that sees us lose our first game in Serie A. Frail. Fred around the outside. Fred in on his left. Oh, don't even try me now. I can't believe it. I, oh, I do not deserve to lose this game, but I can't. I can't believe I've hit the post there or the bar. I can't believe it. We're going to lose against AC Milan, but I. I don't know how Fred has missed either of his last two opportunities. One hits the woodwork, the other one was very well saved by Donnarumma. Such a close game that neither side deserved to lose, but we were the ones that ended up on the wrong end of the scoreline. Napoli next.
Napoli starting with uh, Jose Cajon, Milik and Dries Mertens as a front three. Jorginho, Hamšík and Diawara in the midfield. Uh, Mitchell Weiss, a new signing at right back. Stafelidis at left back. Raul Abiola, Maximovic with Pepe Reina in goal. The front six, other than Milik, who we sold to buy in uh, Belotti last year with Napoli, looks as it was in the series last year at Napoli. At least to start off with. This is going to be another really difficult game. We said that it was going to be a massive episode with regards to the teams that we were playing, and it's proven to be so thus far. But if I can get a win against Napoli, I'd be absolutely thrilled. We've got an early goal against Milan, and we're causing Napoli problems in the opening stages again. Cross to come in here from Florenzi. Decent delivery. Pepe Reina comes to punch. It'll drop to De Rossi. I just need to drop the shoulder on the man on the edge of the box to get the shot off, but that has not worked. <laughs> Dries Mertens. Yes, nicely done by Florenzi, but Diawara steals it back immediately. Dries Mertens has the shot well blocked by Manolas. Corner for Napoli. Looks like they might go short. They have done. Dries Mertens and Nangolan closing him down. Headed away by Manolas. Here's Marek Hamšík. Do not foul him. Don't give away a penalty. There's a okay. Kehan at the back post. Nods that back. Milik with the second header, but well held by Alisson. Chances at either end in the opening stages, as was the case in all of the other games today. De Frel actually got the pace to get away here up against Real Albiol, but I don't have the support. Now it's arriving. De Rossi! Great save from Pepe Reina. Kehan. Driving inside, he's got the legs to do so. Sweeps it out to Milik. He'll go again, Kayahon, but they've come across this side to Diawara. To Kayahon, to Diawara, off the bar. Oh, Kayahon battling for the header, and De Rossi will get it away. And going out here to El Sharawi, just trying to open the face of his body up, and we could be in behind with El Sharawi now. Raul Albiol's been caught out for pace. Cut inside, lay it back to the edge of the box. And Golan! Oh, now I've hit the bar! Maris brings it down, but gets bumped in the back by Diawara. Oh, and he isn't strong enough to hold off the challenge. Unbelievable strikes at either end of the field. Both bars hit in a matter of seconds. Diawara. Good for Hamshik. Nangola and the Hamshik going for it here between the two of them. Two of the best midfield players in Serie A. That's probably a foul, and he's given as such the free kick. What? Oh, Albiol's getting booked for something earlier on. I was going to say, I definitely fouled him there. Dries Mertens with the free kick. He will shoot from here. And I'm going to try and get... Oh, I don't need to get a block on it. Well over the bar. Rossi, Nangolan. Fred. Oh, just reaches Nangolan, although his touch was pretty poor and he bobbled away from him. These games against a better size in the division have just been so tight all season long. The one against Inter was the same, but obviously the one against AC Milan today and now this one against Napoli. It's literally like neither side looks dominant, but in the game against Milan, they just edged it. I'm hoping to be the side that just edges it in this one. That's a lovely turn by El Shirao. I'm going to drive in. I'm going to drill it across the box and Fred is there. We might just be edging it. 1-0 Roma after 50 minutes. That turn on the edge of the box from Al Sarawi. Perfect. Absolute perfection. It's exactly what we needed. This right here completely sells the defender. Drives down towards the byline. You can see Fred just away from the defenders in the middle. We're in front. Mertens. Diawara. Mertens again. Diawara again. To Jorginho. He can't defend against passing like that. It's just... You can't change player quickly enough. It's impossible. Stafelidis into Milik. Back to Stafelidis. Mahrez intercepts. Counter-attack time. Florenzi. Inside there to Nangola. Drive inside. Turn. Get it to Fred. Okay, or not. Has found its way to Fred. Here's De Frel. Good footwork. Oh, I don't need to play in Nangola because De Frel has the space. Oh, and despite the fact that Pepe Reina got something on it, we now lead by two goals to nil. Ah. <sighs> Two quick-fire goals. Well, I say quick-fire. There's like 12 minutes between them. But two goals early on in the second half. Daniele De Rossi going on for Schick. I'm moving uh, De Frel from striker to Cam. Now I'm going from Cam to centre mid where De Rossi was. And now Schick is on up top. Just as De Frel has scored a goal in that striking role. We lead by two goals to nil now. Two was enough against Sevilla. Two was enough for AC Milan. 
Hopefully, two will be enough here against Napoli. He's playing Schick. He's getting away from the defenders as well. Just off the bench here, Schick. Forced wide. Goal. How's that for an impact off the bench? Schick. Bows in front of the home fans. Roma 3, Napoli nil. We are going to be getting a win from this one. And go then. Mahrez. Oh, great footwork. Yeah, Mahrez turns inside. There's Schick on his left foot. Oh, okay. Hello, Schick. Why didn't you do that the other times that I've played you? He's just stood there. He barely moved. The entire time the move was in the build-up. And then he just gets the ball and just whacks it top bins. Literally, for the majority of that highlight, he's just watching everything go on around him. And then, bang. 4-0? Where's that come from? Corner for Napoli. We're going to get one back. We've headed it away. There's still 12 minutes to go. We scored three goals in the space of six minutes. Milik looking to get one back for them. 63, 67, 69, I think, was the timing of the goals. Ridiculous. I looked to play Riyad Mahrez in behind. That took a deflection to go up for a corner, uh, for a throw in, sorry. Corner. Ten minutes to go here. Wasn't expecting this. Literally, before, or well, in the highlight that I scored the first goal, I was harping on about how close the games against the big sides have been. And then out of nowhere, we go and score four goals in the next 20 minutes. I really wasn't expecting that. Napoli obviously weren't expecting it either. But I'm delighted that it's happened. It shows that we can compete against the bigger teams. Hopefully, it will be the spark to turn our average start to the season around into what could be a decently successful first year in charge. Free kick for Napoli. A few seconds left to go in the game before we register another set of three points in Serie A. Will it be four or will it be five? I think four because there's actually... More Napoli players back here than we thought they were going to be. But Defrel is determined to just run around the outside of everyone and go solo and very nearly score that fifth. Two minutes added on and there is the final whistle. There's a big win for us at home against Napoli. One that nobody would have predicted, especially you guys, after watching the way that I played. Or not that I played badly, but after watching how close the game is against Sevilla and the game against AC Milan was as well. I don't think anybody would have predicted a 4-0 win for us against Napoli. Even after the first half against Napoli where things were very, very tight. But I'm thrilled with that. We did two of the three things I wanted to do today. I waited all three wins if possible. And we've put ourselves in a great position in the Champions League as we now head to Feyenoord to uh, hopefully solidify our position in second in the group. And in Serie A, we will have a look and see where we are in a domestic competition as well and hopefully we're in a decent position we've moved ourselves back up to sixth so we started today in sixth and we end today in sixth despite losing against AC Milan who were top of the table now actually although Sassuolo do have a game in hand on us as do Udinese but they can't catch us because they're four points behind so we could potentially drop to seventh but still only three points off third although a Inter do have, well, in fact, four, all four top sides have a game in hand on us, but still, I'm pleased with how things are going so far. I didn't expect to jump straight to Roma and destroy the same way that we did uh, with Chelsea. So to be able to pick up the odd good result and push teams like AC Milan, who are clearly having a very good season on top of the table, all the way and they get a sneaky one in the last minute to beat me. This has been a really positive opening few months here at Roma and I'm very much looking forward to continuing it. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on more. I'll see you next time.